Join us in this five-part series as my family and I embark on an eight-night journey through Kruger National Park, traveling from south to north during the festive season. This trip has been eagerly anticipated for quite some time as it's been over 18 months since we last visited Kruger as a family. The anticipation of encountering the unknown kept our excitement levels very high. been extremely hot um, so far throughout since we arrived in the park so the rain is really welcome the cool weather is welcome but the rain it just started bargaining down yesterday last night and we have to move and take start taking on a wet wet tent and yeah it was not pleasant at all but it's part and parcel of the story and camping as a whole and part of the adventure so it's really appreciated so now uh, we are heading to Punda Maria. I'm really excited about Punda. There's quite a few things that excite me heading that side. Uh, that we'll be able to drive on the road, Ta Road today all the way, which is cool. And then it's about half past five, one hour after gate opening. So we're going to drive on the Ta Road until Punda. We'll see, we'll enter some of the camps. So yeah, Satara delivered, never disappoint. Like in the previous days, we've had successful trips here. A lot of predator action, a lot of lions. We finally broke our spell for a leopard. Yesterday in Samari Dam, find a big male, which is cool. So yeah, we're hoping still to see a bit of lions or maybe a cheetah or even a leopard before we even uh, leave Sadara area altogether. But yeah, this is looking good. The weather condition looks good for all day driving. So yeah, looking forward to this. Just um, approaching Olifants and then we find this uh, a bit of a traffic jam. We found three cars and there is big male lion searing not far from the road. After the male lion disappear into the bushes, we resume our journey to Punda Maria.
we reach Olifant High Water Bridge after an hour and 15 minutes into our drive. We drove past the Tavares camp and made a quick stop at the high water bridge. This is uh, the Tava High Level Water Bridge. Beautiful. As soon as we departed from the Taba High Water Bridge, the rain began to pour heavily. We stopped at Moy Plus picnic spot to stretch our legs and use the restrooms. As we near the turn of Tumopan Rest Camp, we noticed a couple of cars. It turned out they were looking at wild dogs. Although the wild dogs were distant and moving, this marks the northernmost sighting of wild dogs we've had in the park. We drove past Shingwezi Rest Camp, hoping to arrive at Punda Maria early to secure a campsite that isn't flooded.
12.44, we arrive at Puna Maria Rest Camp, and the rain eased up a little bit. We found a decent campsite, although the PowerPoint was a bit far. However, this wasn't an issue for us, as we always carry a longer extension cord, which proved to be helpful for camping here. So we just went out um, for a sunset drive. So we just found on Mohoni Loop S99. Find these kudus here. We set up camp and then after that we went out. We stopped for anything interesting we came across and we spent some time observing this monitor lizard. getting down here in Funda and um, we were planning to dry and now it's even too late for the restaurant so we are having rust and cup of coffee yeah it's just bad people's tents are flooding there's a huge thunderstorm coming that came through and then it's just rain all over I'm completely wet here we can't dry we can't Unfortunately, my phone stopped recording due to lack of space. Before I share our plans for the morning drive, I want to remind you about the giveaway I promised. Welcome guys, we are here at Malilan High Level Water Bridge. We just completed a beautiful uh, stay for a weekend here in Kurga National Park. So I did mention last year that when the channel reached 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a trip to Kruger for free to two subscribers. So the time has come. The channel has reached 1,000 subscribers earlier this year in January. So the next episode, I'm going to be telling you more information how you join me in Kruger National Park. Remember, this is part of the bigger plans of the channel. For the morning drive, we depart from camp and take the S60 gravel road, making a brief stop at Topa Fontaine Dam, before continuing towards Livovo Bridge. From there, we head to Cruz Corner via the S63 Nyala Road.
Despite the overcast and very dark conditions, I still managed to capture some decent images of this warback eagle. Game viewing proved challenging in these conditions, so we took pleasure in admiring the scenery and enjoying the ride. As we neared the Luvuvu River, we began to spot more animals.
we departed from Livuvu River and joined the S63 Nyana Road heading towards Pafuri Picnic Spot. Upon arriving at picnic spot, we obtained some hot water to make coffee at Cruz Corner before continuing our journey towards the lookout. Enjoy our breakfast of coffee and rice, then hurry back before the road condition deteriorate further due to intensifying rain.
one of the fears. No, this is the big one. We finally managed to negotiate the undrivable part of the road and stopped more for birds. Be cautious when parking your car at Pafuri picnic spot. The trees have free falling dead branches that can potentially damage your vehicle. After merging into the tar road, the rain intensified even further, and there was water everywhere. So there's a new development um, on this series. So we have made a decision to actually leave the park now. It's around four and continue. Um, since we're not far from where we're supposed to go tomorrow. So we're supposed to leave the park tomorrow, but um, there's a lot of roads have been closed. The Mohoni Loop has been closed. It's raining hard. Um, it has been raining since yesterday non-stop and we went to Crook's, Crook's Corner I'm sure uh, by now you would have seen the clips it's undrivable most sections and um, we drove on S59 which was water all over it's like streams of rivers flowing and uh, same thing with S46 has been closed as well lots of graveros have been closed so I mean, we decided that there's no use for us to be around here. Uh, I mean, you just have to stick to the tar road, so, and it's raining, and there is no electricity to add to that in Punda. Uh, yeah, so the challenge is just quite a um, plain to fall.
thank you so much for watching throughout the series. Your support means a lot to me. In the next episode, I will share details on how you can join me on a safari to Kruger free of charge at absolutely no cost to you. We also spent a weekend on the southern part of Kruger where we had an incredible sightings. <laughs>